Hello everyone, this is Steve Olson, the Manager of Training Services at Mesa. In this video, I'd like to share with you a specific project setting in Inventor that will save previous saved versions of the file you're working with. So the first thing I want to show you is the setting that I'm talking about. So I'm going to go up here to my Get Started tab, I'm going to go here to my Projects, and I have this project set, and down here in my folder options, actually my options options. So in this options folder, you'll see old versions to keep on save. Negative one will keep all of them, or you can specify a number that's basically zero or more. So basically what happens here is every time I save the file, the previously saved file goes into an old versions folder that I could go back to if uh, the current file gets corrupt, or if I've made some design changes that just need to be wiped out, or Maybe I migrated the file by accident or something like that. So I've got that set. I've got it set to five. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly modify this file and then we'll take a look at where that's done. So I'm going to just throw some corner chamfers on here. I'm just going to just throw a quarter, apply that, and then I'll just save this file. So let me close it. And if I go up here to open, you can see here I have this file here called plate. There is an old versions folder. If I jump into there, you can see it's got the one through five that I've saved. So let's say I decided everything I've done since version three is just not right. I just shouldn't be using it that way. Uh, we can't make it that way, whatever. So if I go to this one and I say open, you'll see that the software gives me three options. One is that I can open the old version. I won't be able to save it. Uh, I can restore that to the current version, or I can open uh, the actual current version. Maybe I'm opening this one up by mistake. So what I typically do is if I think I want to re revert back to a previous version, I will actually open it, uh, open up where I'm just read only, verify that is the one I want, and then I'll repeat the process to restore. So if I go ahead and say OK here, it will open up. You can see it doesn't have the chamfers that I put on it. So now if I close it again, do the open, I'll repeat the process, say open, this time I'll say restore old version to current ver version, say okay, and now that's that's where I'm at. If I end up looking at my, my old versions again, you can see I have a, a six here, the three's been restored, but I still have the five previous versions. So this can be very helpful. Uh, I've run into situations where a file becomes corrupt and I have that as a fallback. I accidentally uh, saved some files recently, or I migrated some files up by accident. I didn't mean to, and I was able to re uh, restore some of them back to their previous version, which was saved in 2019. So it can be a very helpful tool if you leverage that. By default, that setting is set to one, which to me is probably not enough. So I would recommend somewhere three to five. You don't want to you know, save too many, you might kind of bloat up your, your file storage, but kind of find that happy medium that kind of gives you enough to fall back on, but without like really creating too many uh, saved versions that are kind of just taking up space on your system. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. Hopefully the information will be beneficial to you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at my email address on the screen. And again, thank you for watching.